Being a typical gym bro, my hobbies are basically the gym, eating after the gym, and then helping other people go to the gym. But what a lot of you don't know is that I actually have hobbies outside of the gym. I've snowboarded since I was 10 years old and even competed in state and national races. I remember laughing at this one kid we raced against and he was wearing pink lycra and we were like 15. He just looked so funny. That's Scotty James, by the way. Four-time Olympian professional snowboarder and world champion. Turns out the lycra did him pretty well. Anyway, despite my failed snowboarding career, I still love the sport and decided to derail our Japan trip by taking my friends to the snowiest place on earth. Miyoko Kogan is a region in Japan that gets over 15 meters of snow each season. The only problem is that the girls can't ski. And Lewis has never skied powder before. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Lewis just hit a tree. Why did I follow you, man? <laughs> Holy shit, the snow has delivered. <laughs> oh my god. Is this it? Is this where we are? I feel like this is it. God, the snow is crazy. Did you know it was going to be anything like this, mate? Nah, this is mine. This is fun. What do you think of this place? <laughs> <laughs> so apparently it's going to be 40 centimeters of snow tonight for tomorrow, which is ridiculous. And do you have skis? Yes. No, you don't. This is insane. <laughs> this is such a cool place. I know. I thought this was the main street. Shit. It's just so snowy. Oh God, and it's slippery. <laughs> it's, it's a bit slippery, it's a bit Look treacherous. at your shoes. Gucci's. I really should have worn snowshoes. Yeah. I just tried to pack light. <laughs> look so at your cool. hair, you look, look like Jack hair. Frost. Maybe for a couple minutes. You actually look like Jack Frost. Yeah? You, you look like your YouTuber age where you had blonde hair. Yeah. <laughs> we had one night where we got 65 centimeters. Um, That's crazy. Yeah. Do they actually shut the, the, the mountain for a little bit? Do they not open? In the morning, it yeah. takes a bit longer for the really? to open up. Yeah. Wow. So I have to dig them out. Jumps right in front of me. <laughs> Little update. Got a nice uh, coffee. Hot chockey. For the little one, for the boy. <laughs> and fuck me, it is snowing. That was a good run then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flew off some booters, little jumps. There was a couple of um, head and jumps. Yeah. I wonder how the girls are doing. So with the first day of skiing done, it's safe to say we earned a great dinner at an epic place called Hunter. So shovel shovel. This, we're supposed to just give it a bit of a dip with these giant chopsticks. Shovel 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 shovel. Done. Oh. And then, you got your plate. It's got like a sesame sauce and then a soy based one and you can give it a dip. And that is how you shovel. Good morning guys, so we've had a few good days skiing, it's been very fun, you did well. Thanks. did very good, a um, little freak out yesterday morning, but then you recovered nicely. I actually, actually act like I'd never even seen snow. Yeah, she had a moment. Um, but no, you're smashing it, you're doing really well. Thanks. 
plan today. We're gonna go see some monkeys in the snow monkeys. Always wanted to do this, but never done it. And yes, Japan has monkeys. These are native snow monkeys, and they live in a conservation park that was created in 1964. The story is that once they were in the park, they saw people having a bath outside, and so they just joined them. <laughs> they fucking just got in there. Now they have hot springs. And uh, go explore. So should be good. My body's dead. So I need it. My body's really dead. Really need it. It's okay, we actually... actually uh, technically, I got two. So you did get drinks? Yeah, because I got one by accident. Thank you, though. I got this one by accident because it was cold, so then I got the hot one. And then the guy ran out and said, the train's leaving. So, I said, fuck you, E.T. <laughs> and I ran. And luckily, lucky you followed me. I know. <laughs> we did it, though, we did it. We did. Cheers. Yeah. So we've arrived at the monkey park after a massive cold walk. Massive cold walk. Very cold. And there are monkeys everywhere, ready? There's like just a couple down here. <laughs> Can't be quite intimidating. You're a big guy and it's actually quite scary. Yeah. If one of those monkeys went to take you, he just is a big one. He just he just walked. He was walking towards me, and he was just looking at me. Like I didn't give a shit. I didn't care how big you are. <laughs> he out <alphaed laughs> you so much. We survived the snow monkeys. Ooh. They didn't give a shit. Some of them when they fight, it's actually like proper fucking scary. Oh shit! I don't trust them <laughs> at all. <gasps> Little face. Oh sorry. My camera is about to die, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, but that was a sick experience. Worth the trek. Yeah. Worth yeah. the trek, yeah. Alright, so we're back in the place now. And we're just going to try a few little snacks that we got from the convenience store. We picked some ones that look good, and then some ones that looked a bit looked strange. Looked a bit random. Noodle snacks. Okay. Oh, oh! Yes. Mm. Big yes. Um, did Mammy you ever have those? Less appetizing than that. Squid snack. Ooh. Oh, the smell it actually just looks fucking like... hit me like a ton of ice. <laughs> oh! Why did you have to put your face close to it? I could smell it. smelled like dick the second I opened it. <laughs> <laughs> These kind of look like a dude. It does. <laughs> look, at that, look at the helmet. <laughs> I like these more than those ones. Wow. These are great. The smell is like different than the taste though. Oh, 100%. Huh? The taste you is kind of sweet. You smell it, you like back off. It gets close and you go, okay, I'll have some more. Fuck yeah. Do you know what? This is actually good because it, it tastes exactly how it looks. It really does. Oh. Yeah, these are next level. <clears throat> this is really nice. You could just keep eating these. <laughs> these look interesting. Ooh. Blueberry marshmallows. Oh. oh shit, they're big. <gasps> I love the feel of that. Oh my god. It's like a really nice stress ball. Mmm. Oh my... Is that got a feeling? No. Whoa! It's got a feeling. It's like blueberry flavored marshmallow, but filling on the inside too. That's so cool. It's kind of, it's like fun to eat as well. Yeah. The texture is fun. It's soft, it melts in your mouth. It explodes. Mm -hmm. Do you have space for dinner? Because we're going out to dinner in like two minutes. Are we? It's 5.30 p.m. Oh. Ooh, okay. So we're about to go for dinner, but that was um amazing. I'm glad we did that. Yeah. I think it's triggered my appetite more than anything. And now I know when I come back from dinner what desserts we're going to get oh, I stuck know. into watching TV. We're only watching like Japanese shows and movies now already. Mm -hmm. So it's a good way to do it. Nandesuka. Toi de wa doku desu ka? Shall we dinner? We shall. 
So with that, our Japan trip has come to an end. The culture, food, scenery, and snow will always make Japan one of my favorite places in the world. So I did hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. And you guys know what to do. Masibu no taizai.